Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies. My name is John. And this video is going to be part two, an unboxing, a box that I've got from Gary Watson. Now, Gary Watson, other known, otherwise known as Cheney's underscore box on Instagram. I'll leave a link down to his channel on Instagram down below. Um, he's got some great stuff on there, actually. And if you don't, if you haven't seen part one of this video, I'll link it down below because you've got to be seeing this stuff coming out. This box is amazing. And it's only halfway through. So on this half, you're going to see the rest of the stuff on here. So I urge you to check that video out if you haven't checked that one out. Check that one out first, then check out this one. Now, Gary on his uh, Instagram says, um, Cheney's underscore box has got to be a nod to the fact of Lon Cheney and his box. He had a box of tricks where he used to be able to turn himself into the man of a thousand faces. And he says he's interested in films of the 20s, 30s and 70s. Horror slash psychotronic. The Golden Age of Hollywood, Silent Cinema, Punk, Post Punk, Brilliant, The Strange and The Arcane. So that's that's amazing that um, Gary has got so many things in common with me for likes that he's, he likes his stuff with his music and his uh, stuff he's into. So like I say, he sent us this box and he said he would like to send us some stuff and I'm, I'm blown away by what I've pulled out already. And uh, this is only half of it. So in this one, if you... There was uh, there's, there's slip covers in here, there's booklets in here, there's also um, DVDs, Blu-rays, the lot. So uh, I'm going to go through part two and um, hopefully you'll have as much fun with it as I am. I'm going to pull these things out like I do with these things, put my hand and pull it out. You see them exactly when I see them, so you get, the, you get my honest opinion of when these things come out and what I'm going to do with them. Is it going to be something I've got in the collection? Is it something that I'm going to upgrade? Is it something that I'm going to gets for CEX? Uh, is it something that I'm going to make you get offline? Okay, so first up is, wow, Red Heat. Now I've got this, I've got this. Uh, this is one I'm going to put in the list for uh, ones that I might, I'm going to check these ones out and these will go next to my other ones that I've got. And if they're better, then these ones will go over the, well, not over the top, but you know, uh, in place of the ones that I've got. This is a great, great movie. I love this uh, movie. Um, always liked it, even though it never got a lot of love in the back of the day. Always been a fan of this movie, and the 4K looks absolutely spectacular for this one. One of the nicest ones, especially from 1988, I believe. Next up is... Ah, now, Blade Runner 2049. Now, I used to have this, um, but I've went and I've upgraded to the sort of box set of this movie, because I think this movie look, it looks spectacular, and it sounds spectacular as well. Um, don't look at it on my new 4K telly, uh, the, the OLED. Um, so this is going to be one that uh, I won't actually use this one. So I'm going to have a list. And funny enough, I've got I've got them separated in the piles. Now this is one that I've I, I know that I can't I can't use this one. So I'm going to put this one in this incredibly small pile of ones I can't use, which is basically one. So um, and Gary did say he said there might be a, there might be some I've got duplicates of I have no need for. But um, it's a it's a nice slip cover that one. It's a shame that um, it won't be going on anything at this time. But that's uh, HMV exclusive of Blade, Blade Runner is absolutely spectacular. So next up is ah now I've looked at this a few times uh, and I haven't picked it up. Um, it has got a slip cover on it. I usually see it. Uh, it's a little bit expensive. So what I might do is I might hang around. This will go me CEX pile. I'm going to hang around and see it. And it, well, CEX, they don't really charge you more if it's got uh, slip covers on it. But I might say, well, have a look at it and see if I can get this the movie itself cheaper off maybe uh, eBay. And uh, so it doesn't have to have a slip, does it? Because I've got this one to go over the top. And like I say, uh, I've said this a few times, but all the slip covers in here are immaculate. So I know that uh, it's not as if I'm getting ones where I think, oh, this slip covers, it's all right, but it's a bit ratty. These are all pristine condition. So I'll be a definite one in the CEX pile. Uh, although I've never seen it in CEX before, but uh, hopefully I can get that now. And like I say, these things, I'm just looking for it now. And even if I sent away for it, even off uh, like Amazon, and it come up without a slip cover, doesn't matter. Now that's a good uh, way to take off your shoulders if you're a collector. Next up is, now this is this is a nice cover, this, um, Dead Alive. Now I do know I've got this one. I'm sure I've got the slip cover on this one, I think. Um, this will be another possible upgrade that I'll have. That, that's a nice slip cover, that. Especially when the light gets off it. Dead or Alive Trilogy. There's three films on there. I haven't checked them out yet, but they, they say these movies... Uh, and Takeshi Mickey 
is one of my favourite sort of directors of this type of movie. So that's Dead or Alive trilogy. Does it say trilogy on there? Yeah, it does actually there. It's also funny when you get it, you think, uh, oh, I, why is it so expensive? It was quite expensive when it came out, and you think, oh, there's three films on there. But it doesn't really look like it is from there. So next up is... Oh! oh, oh, oh. Wow! Now, I've got this movie without a slip. The slip... Ah, booklet as well, look at that, man. The booklet is... Um, the slip and the booklet is very hard to get. And it was one of those ones where I got it and I thought... I knew I missed the. Uh, I knew. Oh, look at that! I knew I missed the uh, the slot to get this, and I thought, well, it is what it is. I have heard. I haven't watched this yet, but I've heard a lot of people. I'm a great big fan of James Con, and I have heard a lot of people say that it's an absolutely spectacular movie, and it's been quite high on the list to watch. But uh, limited edition three thousand units containing two versions of the film. I know this film looks spectacular because it's got a four K restoration. Will I be doing a four K of it? I think they might do actually. But, uh, wow, this this is a great slip to get. So that's uh, Thief with a booklet as well. Don't forget the booklet. In fact, I don't know if mine's got a booklet in, which is even it's incredible. I'm, I'm looking at this thing. Wow, is this real? Next up is... Look at that. Now, as everybody knows, how easy, or should I say, how ridiculously, incredibly difficult is it to get the slip cover of Jaws? Well, I've got a, I've got a slip cover it, but I guess this is pristine, so there might be every chance that this one is going to go over the top of my fork. I mean, this is it's, it's not the original cover, but it's a nice cover. I do like that. It's not the there is one with like lenticular, lenticular stuff which was uh, gone before you even knew it was out, um, which I'm not too fussed about. If I'm honest, um, I know the booklet in it was quite uh, the booklet was all wrong in it, um, on some some cases. So that's. Uh, that's incredible. That, uh, like I say, I said in my other video, uh, Gary, you could really get some serious money for this when you, if you sell it online. So it's 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 crazy that you're doing this for me. I really really appreciate this. So that's a probable probable upgrade. Like I say, the the reason why I'm saying upgrade is because I mean I got it off the shelf uh, when I got an HMV, and I would have picked the best uh, slip that I could. But if the slip had a knock in it or anything, I would just have to accept that. And I know that some of them up there do have knocks in it and you just couldn't do anything else if there's only that one in the shop. But these are really immaculate. So there, there you go. So there's Joe's on 4K slipcover. What? Next up is... Oh, unreal. Now, this... Now, for two reasons. Booklet... Now, I'll tell you what the two reasons are. The I wanted to get, I we want to get this, and then when I heard it was coming out in 4K, I thought, well, hold on for the 4K. Then the 4K came out, 4K came out, and it didn't have a slip. Where's my slip covers? Yeah, exactly. So of course I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll just do one of those sort of Frankenstein versions where I'll get a slip cover and I'll put it on the 4K. And of course, when you want the slip cover or a slip cover version of it, you cannot find it anywhere. It's gone. So that, that sort of went out the window. And I do know that when there's the next sale on for, uh, for Arrow, Old Boy will be in that sale because it, it usually comes down to 15 quid on the uh, on the 4K. But as soon as it comes down to 15 quid, I'm literally getting the 4K to put the 4K inside here. So one of the things I don't really like about Arrow when they put out a 4K, they will not put a slipcover in it. And they've got the stuff to make a slipcover, but all they've got to do is put well, probably change one word in here when they when print them off. But anyway... So that's that's amazing. That that is definitely one that's uh, it's a lovely slip as well. That is definitely one that's going um, on the 4K version of that when it comes down to sale. Wow, with a booklet, of course. Next up is ah, now the Toxic Avenger, um, the HMV exclusive. I remember that when it came out. This was one of the first ones I ever saw. Was like an HMV exclusive. I remember that. And these are hard to get. I, I do think they're not that easy to get. And uh, <laughs> I thought, there you go, look at that. There's a bootlet in there. Now, I've got this one. Uh, but, like I say, this this is immaculate. So I'm getting a big pile over there. Where I've got ones where I could like look into swapping over. And seeing if this one here is going to be better than one I've got on the shelf. So that's The Toxic Avenger. Brilliant movie as well. Uh, definitely the best one of the lot. 
Um, so it's so dark as well, much darker than you would think. Next up is wow, <laughs> my god, you know what it is? This this is weird. This is as if I kind of like said to you, like subliminally put in your mind to say, I want you to send me some stuff, and this stuff has got to be in here now. The amount of times I've picked this up from CEX and it does not have a slip on or the slip cover looks like somebody's thrown it across the room is un unreal. I picked this up more times than I care to mention. I love this movie. I, I like that the, the world to be, you know, and Deborah's one a big fan of this and I've always wanted to get this in 4K. But I've, I've held off because it's either been too expensive or it's not been had a slip cover or slip covers look r ridiculously bad. And sometimes when you see them in a sale, they don't have the slip covers on, but I can rest assured, even if I send away for a cheap on Amazon, then I've got the slipcover for it if it doesn't come with it. And if it comes with a slipcover, that's a double bonus, isn't it? But I don't think you get a slipcover in it these days. So this is amazing. This Deborah will love this because I've I pick it up all the time. She says, Did you not get the 4K of uh, Die Hard? Could not watch that. And I said, I haven't got I didn't pick it up. What for? Didn't have a slipcover. She just goes, Oh, you know, she doesn't get it, does she? But anyway, that's uh, I know everyone doesn't get this sort of slipcover madness that I've got. So that, that's amazing. That's die hard. Wow. Next up is... <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, now, weirdly enough, I do want to get Terminator 2 on, on uh, 4K because I've heard some really bad things about it. And I thought, you know what it is? If I can find it cheap enough, I will get it. And when you find it cheap enough, it doesn't really come down to too low in price, which I'm surprised about. Sometimes you see it online for five quid, and then times it just goes like stupid money. But it, it never has a slip, and if it's in CX, it will never have a slip. Uh, and if I see it cheap enough, I will buy it. Again, this takes the worry out of getting off Amazon, because if you see it cheap on there, you think it's never going to have a slip, so you might not go for it. But now I can sort of uh, literally go for, well, any of these movies, can't I, if I want the 4K of it. Interesting to see, I've got the Blu-ray of that. I think the Blu-ray of this is the Blu-ray I've got. And uh, it looked all right, actually, if I'm honest. Um, I didn't have a problem with it. And I haven't seen this movie for a long time. Because uh, it's one of the ones where you, you want to wait for the 4K to come out. You hear bad things. So you hear there's a new 4K coming out. And it doesn't come out. Uh, James Cameron must be just uh, twiddling stums about all this stuff. But never mind. Uh, so yeah, Terminator 2. Wow. In Boston. I knew it was. I think I've got like an Boston radar as well. Next up is... Creepshow 2. Now, I've got this one. I've got this uh, slip cover. I'll tell you what, uh, Gary, if, it's as if you've been like looking through the window and you've seen what I've got on my shelves. Um, this is another possible upgrade. For me, that's one of the nicest covers I've seen from 88, this Creepshow 2. Very simple, but it's just so colourful. Creepshow 2. Are we ever going to get a Creepshow 1 in, um, in the UK? Next up is oh, The Wolf of Wall Street. Now, if I'm honest, I didn't even know this had a slipcover, and I've never seen a slipcover before, if I'm honest. And I know you can get this ultra cheap, in uh, probably for a pound in, um, in CX. So I will be getting it. Now, I did watch this, uh, and I watched half of it, and I couldn't get away with it. Now, it could be another one where I think I should make sure at the wrong time. I know it's so cheap, I can go and get it again and give it a final estimation to see if it's... I know a lot of people do like this movie. I don't know what it, it didn't connect us with uh, for a, whatever reason, but um, yeah, I will be revisiting that again. So that's um, The Wolf of Wall Street. Great cover that, great slip. Sometimes a slip like that, that's literally minimalistic, is sometimes better than the one that's like busy, if that makes any sense. Next up is... Wow. The Matrix 4K. Now look at that. Mr. Great... I see this all the time in, in CX for, for not too much money, and it's always not going to slip on it. In fact, oh, look at that when the light catches it. I don't know if that does justice to it on there. But when I'm looking at there, when you get in a certain certain thing, it just seems to almost come alight, if that's if that's a word. Wow, that that's, that's unreal, that. And I do really like the Matrix movie. I have downloaded the new Matrix one on Sky TV. I mean, Sky TV, and I, I don't know if I'm going to go there, actually. But this one, for me, is the ultimate version of it. And uh, we will watch this again, because it's uh, the actual um, sort of martial arts in here. Like, the wire work is, like, next level, because it's done by uh, sort of, like, really good uh, Chinese wire work artists. Probably the best in the business. 
the Matrix 4K slipcover. What? Next up is... Ah! Now Avengers Infinity War. We went to the picture to see this as we did with the um, Endgame. And loved it, though it was absolutely brilliant. And I've seen this 4K, sometimes it's a bit funny in CX, it goes down to like, say, like two quid and then it goes up to like 20 quid, which I don't understand what they're doing with their pricing. It's absolutely balmy at times. But of course, when I see it, the slipcover is either damaged or the um, it hasn't got one. So now I can even send away for it. If I see, these are good because if I see a cheap, um, sometimes I see cheap deals on Amazon or people like the 4K Chef, link down below to uh, Paul's channel. He sends us a lot of things to say, oh, there's this, there's this, there's this. And I go, oh, well, that's great, but I'm kind of on the fence in case there's no slip cover comes in. Then you go, got to go looking for the slip. So this is another one where I see that if I get like a deal on Amazon, I'll pick it up. Uh, and it doesn't matter if it hasn't got a slip because I've got one here. So that's Avengers Infinity War. Great movie, that. In fact, I quite like all the, the uh, Marvel ones. All the ones I've seen. Are there was a few like Thor, haven't really looked at? The early Thor, anyway. Next up is... Ah... Right, I have, I just saw that the other day on there, the thing there, it's it's actually there, oh, I'm sorry. I've got it over there, but I've got the Blu-ray of it, this is the 4K of it, the 4K, I didn't even know there's a 4K of it, oh, nice embossing there, so yeah, so I'll put this on the Blu-ray at the moment, uh, with a view to swap it over to 4K one, if I see the 4K, this is another one I'll look for, the 4K in um, the CEX, to be honest, I've never ever seen this on 4K. I didn't even know it was was a 4K. So that'd be a good one to pick up. So that's uh, The Commuter. I like Neil Mason. I think he's, uh, he's a decent actor. He makes a lot of them type of movies, but I think if he wasn't in it, it wouldn't be that good. Uh, but I like his action movies. Um, next up is American Psycho. Now, I've got the slipcover for this one. This is another one that I picked up uh, very uh, early on when I was getting me, um, me 4Ks. And I instantly went for this one. I love this movie. I love the ending of it. What does the ending mean? Aha. Uh -huh. So, yeah, so this will be another one I'm going to put in here. This is the ones for ones that I've got for possible upgrades. Great film, that. And it looks quite good on the uh, 4K. It's not the best looking 4K, but it's uh, some of the scenes, especially skin tone, like sweat on the faces, looks amazing. That's uh, American Psycho. Great uh, performance by Christian Bale there. Uh, he actually looks as if he's losing his mind, especially towards the end. Unreal. Next up is uh, Jurassic World 4K. Now, this is this is strange. Uh, I've been after this slipcover or a slipcover for this movie forever. And of course, you can't find it. Now, what I've got is I've got a double pack of Jurassic World and Jurassic, The Fallen Kingdom uh, recently. So I've kind of amalgamated them two together. I did see Jurassic World, the new one, and quite liked it actually. At first, I was thinking, where's this going? I was a little bit, uh, mm. but uh, the more the movie went on, the more I enjoyed it. And after, on reflection, I thought I had a really good time with it. Um, it's funny when you see these, especially this slipcover, it always looks as if it's get, it gets like uh, bashed and it's got like marks, it marks very easily, like gets silver. If you went like that with it, you'll get like silver marks on it, um, like scratches. But this is um, this is the one that I'm going to put uh, to one side because this may go on something else. I'm just a little bit uh, unsure where this one's going to go at the minute. So that's Jurassic World. Wow. I'll put that one over there. Um, next up, now what I can feel is I can think there's other things in here as well. So I might uh, still got this may be a this may be a three party. You know, I'm thinking because what I've got I still got a massive amount of stuff here. Uh, I'm going to pull some of it from this end, just to see what this end is, because I don't think it's uh, slipcovers. So this booklet here is from a film called Trapped Alive by Arrow. Now, I don't own it, but this is a great thing to have if you ever see them on the, uh, in the sale, and you know that you've missed the boat, and they probably haven't got the booklets in anymore. We can put this in there. So I'm going to put this to one side. This is my me, uh, me booklet selection. So that's Trapped Alive. I'll do a few booklets now. So what I might do is I might finish this video by uh, going through the rest of this box, and then I'll put a part three on where I'm going to get all the stuff I've got here and see where it goes in my collection. I'll show you which ones I've done, which ones I've swapped over so you can see uh, the versions. I might uh, put a book list in and stuff like that. And you can see the sort of ultimate versions I'm going to come up with uh, on the stuff held by this amazing box by Gary. So I'll do I'll do the rest of these. I'll do some more booklets at this point. Next booklet is... Oh, 
<laughs> this is the booklet for Dr. Fibes Rises Again. I love the Dr. Fibes books. Absolutely uh, amazing. That's, uh, what should I say, films? Did I say books there? This is, I used to watch these all the time on the TV. Robert Corey there, Count Yoga. So that's Dr. Fibes Rises Again. Brilliant. Great condition as well, obviously. All the, all the stuff in here is. Next booklet is Hey, Microwave Massacre. Oh, picture there. Unbelievable. This is, uh, I love this movie. Always love this movie ever since I had it on uh, pre cert Actually, saw it in pre cert Had it on pre cert uh, The movie itself, the, the VHS sort of disintegrated, which um, unfortunately. This is just, just an absolutely amazing movie. I just love it. Um, I would imagine I've got the booklet of this, but this could be a possible upgrade as well. Like I say. And these... These booklets would have been around. It's not as if they've come out of the movies, I would imagine, like yesterday. These booklets would have been taken out quite a while ago because they haven't been like available with a uh, booklet in for a while, I would say. Because I got mine when it first came out. And um, I would imagine, I'm saying that, I would imagine it's got a booklet in it. But um, maybe these days, if you went, you would never get booklets in these ones. Uh, that's amazing. Next is... Oh. Inferno. This is this has got to have come out the white box one, if I'm thinking, because uh, I don't think it's ever been released any other in any other version. By the white box, I think could be wrong on that one. Um, this movie has got to get a 4K soon. It's one of the, the last sort of like great Dario Argento ones that's just never been uh, seen this 4K treatment. So that's amazing. That I have got the the uh, box set of the uh, the white box one, but. Uh, this this is probably well it's it's mint so uh, if my one's not mint this will be going in that's inferno next booklet is funhouse that's just another one this is uh, I think this is getting a 4K release actually I don't think Arrow are releasing it in 4K but I'm sure it's getting a 4K somewhere love this movie and um, doesn't get a lot of uh, love at all I remember seeing this in the picture a couple of times really enjoyed it and it was kind of on the borderline video nasties as well so that's um, that's definitely from the white box. Uh, well, actually, that's that's funny. That that one there. Uh, this is definitely Arrow, but it doesn't like it's got a white box around it because all the box uh, videos, sorry, the bootlets from there, did have this look to them. Interesting to see if this one is the same as one I've got. Um, wow. Uh, if it isn't, I'll be, I'll be putting that in with the other one as well. I have two bootlets. Uh, next up is the thick bootlet. Is uh, Wolf Cop. I'm sure it's Wolf Cop. Um, Wolf Guy, should I say? Yeah, this is a very early um, release from. Um, it hasn't been released quite a while ago. Um, I haven't got this one. This will be another one to sort of put in um, and see if I can see if they still got it. Actually, if it's still in print, uh, get it nice and cheap, and uh, get a nice boot in it as well. You know, because obviously the bootlets will not be in it at this point. So that's Wolf Guy. That's uh, is that Sunny Chiba? I could be wrong about that. Um, yes, Sonny Chiba. Very distinctive look to him. Um, brilliant actor. Sadly, he's just just passed away very recently. Next booklet is <laughs> the happiness of the Katakuris. Now, this is it's such. It's just absolutely. This is if you have just bought this one. Honestly, that um, I've, I've got this movie. Actually, I got it from CX. I got it for six pound. I remember. Don't know if it's got the booklet on that. I would imagine the booklet is nowhere near as good as this one, so this would be an instant swap roller. This is meant to be an absolutely nuts movie. Um, interesting to see it, sort of like the, the sound of music, but with uh, ultra violence in it. So that sounds nice. The happiness of the cat Katakuris, or Katakuris. I don't know which way I pronounced that one. There's loads of bootlets in here, mate. Next up is. Ah. Now I've got this one. Uh, I've got this one and I don't know if it's got a bootlet or not, like I say, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but this is so in such good condition that I will be swapping these ones over. Like I say, I would try and do it on this video, but there's no way I'm going to do it on this video, it's going to be far too long. In fact, do I think I should go for another part, a part three, where I sort of finish off the box and then go for, um, you know, sort of like putting all the stuff together. I think I might do that. I think I'll get a little bit more out of this. Uh, still stuff in here, you know. Still, still a lot of stuff in here. Wow. I tell you what, I'm going to 
for this one I'm going to finish this one off now I'm going to pull there's a, there's a blue ray in here I'll pull the blue ray out so the last thing I'm going to show here is oh, Charles Branson the mechanic actually I really I love this movie I think it's a uh, it's an absolutely brilliant movie, and I think it was remade with uh, Sylvester Stallone, I believe. I think he did the version of that. Uh, I'm trying to think who was in this one. Uh, Jean Jean Michel Vincent, yes, uh, it's the one I'm thinking of, uh, where they play sort of hitmen and uh, call the mechanics. Um, yeah, so this this is amazing. It's another one I haven't got it, and uh, this uh, this Charles Bronson stuff from this sort of era is always good and this this one here is literally one of my favorite um the charles bronson ones from from way back when so that's uh these german releases i've never didn't even know they were out sort of thing so that's uh that's the mechanic so what i'm going to do is like i say i've still got so this is going to be part three is going to be the last the last part and uh when i do that you'll uh, you'll see the whole thing you'll see what i've done with this I mean the stuff I've got here is absolutely incredible so um, thanks once again for watching thanks to Gary for sending me all this amazing stuff you take care, especially you Gary and I'll see you in the next video, cheers